What's up, Facebook, YouTube? Guys, if you guys are catching this on the replay, um, let me know. Uh, it's going to probably respond from my chat bot and ask you if you guys want our guide on how to get more clients without actually spending money on Facebook ads, or if you want your beginner's guide to messenger marketing. So if you want any of those guides, drop a comment and our chat bot will follow up with you and get you all those goods. But guys, I recently uh, had this epiphany earlier today and we signed another client this morning that actually came out of the blue. And, and the ironic thing was that this client uh, reached out to me and said, hey, I wanna start talking about you know, your services again. Uh, booked a call and then on the call uh, actually, you know, initiated the whole process. And I was kind of taken aback because I didn't anticipate that we would be closing a deal and, and signing it right away. But what it ended up happening was, is that because of this thing that I'm going to talk about today, they ended up basically accelerating the sales process for me. And uh, it, it made it the most easiest sale ever because I didn't actually have to sell anything. And so we're going to talk about how that happened. <clears throat> we're going to talk about the, uh, the main thing that, um, that allowed that to happen. But I want to make sure that this gets shared out in all, all the right places. So guys, I always appreciate if you guys catch any of this stuff and you guys are enjoying any of these live videos that you guys, um, you know, the likes and loves are always helpful because they tell the good old Zuckerberg, the good old YouTube people that this stuff is valuable. So I will always make that quick plug at the beginning because it definitely, it definitely helps. So um, I appreciate that. If you guys have any questions, make sure that you guys throw those down there as well. And uh, we'll make sure that we answer all those. Um, I think that this is, is so important because of, uh, of a lot of reasons, right? I think a lot of people really struggle with being able to generate enough clients, right? And being able to generate enough business to be able to sustain themselves. And I know that this was a reality for our agency for a very, very long time. I wish that I was someone who, you know, like some of these you know, stories you see where they shot out of the gate in their first month around, they did $10,000 in revenue, but that just wasn't the case. It was really a grind and it was really a building process where I'm, I'm very fortunate now that we have uh, too many clients where we're actually bringing on more people onto our team and we're gonna be uh, building out the, the HD marketing team and the millennial skills family. So I'm excited about, about that privilege, but it wasn't always like that. There were days where we were really scrapping and really fighting to, to, to get every dollar in the door, right. To get every, every, you know, possible uh, client that we could, because we were just fighting for our existence and fighting for our lives at that point. So I know, I know what that is like. And what I'll share with you is, is very, very interesting is that one thing that has paid off time and time again is the relationships that you have with people. And Matt, Sog, what's up guys? Um, that's really what, what the secret is that uh, that people aren't talking about is, is relationships. And I, I can point to um, tens of thousands of dollars of revenue that was built for my agency that came not from cold calling, not from cold emailing, not from Facebook ads, not from, <clears throat> from any of that stuff, <clears throat> but simply came from, from developing quality relationships with people and creating real bonds and creating real connections with people. And I found that those are the strongest bonds. And I mentioned at the beginning that we recently, we signed a client today <clears throat> that reached out to me. You know, we didn't do any prospecting, any follow-up or anything like that. Reached out to me and said, hey, I wanna talk about, you know, your services, uh, booked a call with me. And then today, you know, by the end of the call, uh, we were talking about what the next steps were for them to become a client. And, and the thing was, is what, what I was so taken aback by was that I did not have to put any energy into that. I didn't have to put any, um, you know, there was no, there was no follow up. There was nothing on my end. It was really just about establishing quality relationships and quality connections and letting those work themselves. So um, <clears throat> I'm curious if this is uh, resonating with anybody because I know for me, maybe you guys can't hear me, huh? switch up my microphone. I didn't even think about that. So guys, if you guys have questions, we're talking about really the ways to get clients without having to do things like, you know, we, we, we stumbled upon a new system where we're, we're sending voicemail drops to our prospects and we're sending voicemails to our prospects in mass. And uh, what 
that's allowing us to do is, uh, you know, follow up with people who are only interested. And so we're, you know, there's cool things like that, but I think what's even more valuable is having no work, right? What we were talking about earlier is not having to put any work into uh, generating. So let's see, I wanna get the USB. So hopefully that <clears throat> works uh, and sounds a little bit better. Um, for the rest of you guys who are hopping on late, what we're talking about is so let's 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 give you some some systematic ways and let's give you some tactics right here because you know a lot of people go okay yeah relationships and connections so how do you do that um, the number one thing that I think about when it comes to creating relationships is joining different groups right joining different programs joining different masterminds joining different organizations that allow you to interact and connect with these people in a in a different kind of way right i can i can specifically point back to one group that i joined and this group has has resulted in i don't know five six seven clients that have come you know that have paid our agency <clears throat> tens of thousands of dollars and the ironic thing is though is that they came years later right so that's the that's the tricky thing about relationships and doing it through, you know, building authentic connections with people is that they don't always pay off right away. And so they don't always, it's not this, it's not always the sexy way to get clients, right? But I think that it is really, really important for you to be doing that if you're going to be building your business for the long term, because they can pay off, uh, you know, they can pay off big long term. So Trina, what's going on? Um, or is it Trina? I'm not sure. Uh, let me know. Um, thank you for hopping on live. Uh, the rest of you guys, let me know who's here. I can't always see who is on live, but obviously if you guys comment, you guys will get all of the guides sent to you. So if you guys want a guide on how to get started with messenger marketing, or you want to get a guide on how to get clients without having to spend any money on Facebook ads, drop a comment, give me an emoji down there and the chat bot should follow up and respond to you and give you all of the, all of the goods. All right. <clears throat> so I'm going to make a quick, um, a quick engagement plug, see if we can get some more people on here. All the likes and the loves always help more people to be able to see this stuff. So, uh, if you guys can't pay with your wallets, you can always pay with your thumbs. And I always appreciate those because they go such a long way, especially us building the millennial skills page from scratch. It's something that um, is going to take some time, but we are committed to helping a thousand business owners right now build the business and the life of their dreams. And we're going to help you do that through giving you the training and the tools that you need uh, to be able to go out and create that business. And uh, what we really like to use is our, is our software sales system. And that's the ability to leverage these types of tools, um, whether you're doing it on messenger marketing, whether you're leveraging a software sales system in you know, uh, SMS marketing, that's really what we want to help you to be able to do is to leverage some of these tools that were very, very expensive in the past that are now much more affordable and easier for you to be able to uh, integrate into your business. So <clears throat> let's see, how long have I been talking? I've been talking about eight minutes now. I like to go 15 minutes because that's what they said. Facebook says that uh, engagement taps out around 15 minutes. So we'll hit that mark. And uh, if you guys are catching us on the replay for whatever reason, you've now listened to me rant for almost nine minutes. So you guys are, are true champions. Uh, the rest of you guys who are hopping off, you guys suck. I'm just kidding. Uh, Apple, Chedrick, what's going on? Thanks for hopping on live. We're talking about this, the title of the talk, which we definitely won't talk about again. Um, is called the secret to getting clients that no digital marketer is talking about. And it's really relationships, right? It's creating authentic connections. And, and it's evident, right? It's like, I guess the reason that no digital marketer is talking about it is because it's not very sexy, right? Building, building quality, authentic relationships isn't very sexy, A, because maybe it takes a long time, right? I mentioned that some of these these deals, right, that are, are paying our, our business ten, you know, thousands of dollars a month Hey, don't don't come to fruition until years later. So that's not very sexy, I guess, in terms of immediate return, right? But I think when you start to create those things and those opportunities come now to you, it makes it uh, it makes it a lot more valuable because you can um, you, you don't have to put out 
the effort or time or money to drive those conversations. They can actually come back to you. So I think that's really huge. So Akbar, what's going on? I think Akbar talks about this a, a lot in his, in his content. And that's that, you know, doing positive things. Like I think that really, really being a value and being of genuine service to people is, is the most valuable thing that we can do as a business owner. Like I was, I was mapping out our, our kind of vision for our company and I was trying to simplify like what we do. And it was like, or like what I can do. And what I realized is for me, like I have a certain amount of value that I can bring to the world. And it's usually in coming up here and ranting and rambling uh, for 15 minutes every day so that you guys can actually go out and build the business and the life that you love. However, what I found is that I'm also not good at a lot of things that and not, not very, uh, uh, well, I'm good at a lot of things, but I'm not great at a lot of things and I'm not very patient with a lot of things either. And so <clears throat> for me, it's about being able to stay in my lane, right? And allowing the other experts and other people to, to be great at what they do. And so that for me is really, really my, my goal now. <clears throat> and the reason I'm sharing this is that I, I said, okay, so what's the second step, right? If like at the end of the road is profit, right? And if I, okay, I've got these things that I like to do. And I've got these things that our business can do. And at the end of it is profit. In the middle of it, like what I wrote down was not like products or services or anything like that. What I wrote down was value creation. And that was really like, like when it comes down to, 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 to making money, right? To generating profit, to generating revenue, it comes down to, to creating value, right? Both on a <clears throat> individual level, whether that's through a person or whether that's at scale, you know, this, this video will, will get shared out, you know, we're going to have it go, you know, we're going to start putting some, uh, the reason that we're doing it on the millennial skills page, is we're going to start putting some money into the, into the videos. And, you know, we're going to start hitting some new people. And so you'll start seeing some haters come along and yada, yada, yada. And the whole thing is they'll be like, why the fuck are you wearing a stupid panda hat and blah, blah, blah. And it's all right. Um, <laughs> with that being said, uh, if you guys have any questions about whatever you guys want, you guys can throw them down there. At this point, I'm just rambling because I mentioned that Facebook says to get to 15 minutes because that's when engagement tops out and that's when viewership tops out. So I will rant and ramble, ramble for another two and a half minutes uh, unless you guys throw down questions there. I mentioned that the first way to, to develop relationships though was to join masterminds, to join groups. I'll tell you that the second thing that you can do is to really build uh, a brand, right? And, and this, is, this is kind of cliche, unfortunately, because a lot of people have talked about it and, and a lot of people don't realize that they can, you can build both a public facing brand and then you can build a very personal facing brand. And what I mean by that is I have a, a mentor and he is not, he's not on any top seller list. He doesn't have any social media. His email list is like, you know, he says it's like, there's like five people on it, right? Like he doesn't, he doesn't work the personal brand, the influencer game in the typical sense. But what he does do is he is an influencer behind the scenes. He does know who are the decision makers. He does know who makes an impact at the highest level. And he goes and he serves those people. And by serving those people at a really high level, he's able to open up doors in an entirely different capacity. And so that for you is both, uh, like should be a, a very, very positive thing for you to know that you don't, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, like you don't have to be an influencer in the typical sense. You don't have to build a Facebook group. You don't have to have, you know, a million Instagram followers. Like you don't have to do that in order for you to be influential. I think that that is, is such a, an important thing for people to, to really realize. Um, because the second, the second thing that I would say is you want to build a brand, right? The reason that I have had these incoming people reach out to me and message me and say, Hey, you know, can you do, you know, can you provide these services for us? Um, the reason that I've been able to do that is because they see me doing Facebook lives every day. They see me doing, you know, they, they see me talking about the subject. So I'm, I'm able to stay top of mind and I'm able to build that awareness um, and, and keep, you know, keep, keep it at the top of their heads. I don't know how else to say it. Right. But building a brand 
is so important and so valuable. So the first thing I said was to join groups. And the second thing that I said was to build a, a brand, whether it's an outward facing brand or whether it's an inward facing brand, uh, there's lots of opportunities. Um, so Frank, Rachel, Faraz, thanks guys for hopping on. I appreciate you. If you guys do not have the notifications turned on, okay, make sure you guys turn on the notifications for Millennial Skills. Uh, Abel, what's up? All of our content will be hosted here. Um, this is where we're going to be creating all of our, uh, our content, doing all of our daily trainings that you guys will get around this time, right? 11 or 12, like in between like 11 and 1 is really where I want, want to try and do them because I know you guys are um, from all over the world. So I want to make sure that you guys can actually get these trainings live. Um, so make sure you guys turn on the notifications. If you guys have any questions, we can always dive into them. Those makes the, make the best live videos is when people actually have questions because then I'm just not up here rambling about whatever the hell comes to my mind. We're actually talking about what you guys want to talk about. However, for those of you guys who just hopped on late, as a wrap up, we talked about relationships. That's really what it is. Quality and authentic connections is what it takes to, to get clients, right? And you can, you can develop those through uh, cold tactics. You can develop those things through building a, you know, a Facebook page or you know, running Facebook ads. But at the end of the day, it really comes down to just creating quality and authentic relationships. And that's what you want to be doing. We talked about the tactics in order to do that are to first join a, join a mastermind, right? Join groups, right? Whether it is a, an in-person or an online group, like like find a way that you can surround yourself with other people. And then the last thing is to build your brand, right? Whether that's an outward facing brand, like, like kind of you see me or whether it's an inward facing brand, like just, just being the go-to person for a certain something that is, is the most valuable thing that you can do is just find a way that you can offer value to people. Um, no matter, no matter if it's through a camera or if it's through actual, you know, one-on-one -on -one time. That's what you want to be doing to build a brand. So Mateo, good to see you, dude. Hopefully everything's well with you. The rest of you guys, if you guys have questions, uh, throw them down there. Beth says I ramble well. I appreciate that. I really, really do. Let me see if there's any questions. Did I miss any here? Oh, I, 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 I see that we do have some questions. So it's Trenna, two ends. I thought so, but I didn't, uh, I didn't know. So Apple Chedrick is watching from Saudi Arabia. I love it. Trina says, what types of groups do you recommend? So uh, this is a great question, Trina. So let's talk about that because I've had a lot of re revelations about this recently. Um, there are two, two types of groups that you can join. Let's, let, me, let me get those out there and then we'll talk about which ones you don't want to join, right? So the two types of groups is you can, you can create, you can join like an industry specific type of group. So I think about like, like Russell's, uh, um, Russell Brunson's like, um, you know, inner circle club, right? It's like, it's like a $25,000 group or something like that, right? But the, and I'm thinking about that and I'm like, wow, that would be really cool to join that. But if I'm going to join that, I'm not going to join that to get clients, right? I'm going to join that to be able to learn. So there are certain groups that you really want to join to, to learn. And I think that that's like, that's one, like one, one, like hardcore end. Now, the other side of it is like, like, uh, focus, let's say focus specific groups, like, like BNI groups or uh, chamber of commerce groups or, uh, masterminds that are, are more general, right. They're a little more broad where you have a lots of different industries, lots of different people who join that group. Right. And I think that those are the, really the two differentiations. Like, are you going to join the group to really focus on learning and, 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 and developing your knowledge of that particular subject and you want to master that, I think that there are great groups like in regards to that. And then there are groups where you're joining because you're looking specifically to expand your, your network. And there are very, I was lucky enough to land on one where they would had both of them. It was like, I wanted to master what they were talking about, but it was also this person had put together a group of such a diverse group of people that I was able to become the social media expert or the social media person. So now these people are coming to me um, because I was able to, to be a part of that group. Right. Um, but it was, I like, there wasn't just only digital marketers there. There was real estate agents. There was uh, authors. There was musicians. There was, uh, I don't know, a bunch of different things. And I was just, I was the digital marketer. I was, I got lucky in that. So you want to join a group where you are <clears throat> like, if specifically you're joining it to get clients, 
where you are going to be like the only social media person. You don't want to go and join a group of a bunch of social media people unless you're trying to master and learn social media. I think both groups are important. It's just like in regards to answering that question specifically, I think that that is, is important. So Trina, hopefully that helped. Great question. Let me see if there's any other ones. All right, guys, I'm going to call it quits. We, we hit the 20 minute mark. Guys, if you guys got any value out of this, the likes, the loves, the hearts, those things always help. Um, obviously the shares, that would, that would be mean the world. And if you guys uh, want the guides on how to get clients without Facebook ads, or you want, we brought it back. It's the old school. It's, uh, it's from the archives. If you want the beginner's guide on messenger marketing, just drop an emoji and our chat bot will follow up with you and get you all those goodies. All right. I talk a lot, huh? All right. I got to go. I got to call it one. See you later. Peace.